ingredients are eggplant, onions, tomatoes, green chili, curry leaves, cumin, turmeric, pepper, salt, coconut milk, oil. Time to cut all ingredients. Eggplant into cubes. Now slice the tomatoes, green chili into lengthwise. Slice the onions. Separate curry leaves from the stem. Keep pan on stove. Is, is the pan heated? Yes. Yeah. Now pour the oil. So now we have to wait till the oil is heated. Okay. Now the next step is to put the eggplant into the heated oil. Can we just put more oil? That's the quantity that you use because if you put what happens if you put more oil, it will become very oily. We use the same oil for all right? We use the same oil to fry all that. So you basically to fry all this eggplant it will take about 20 minutes. Okay? How much time does it take? Because we have put a little bit, so it might this might take about maybe five to eight minutes. You see the uh, eggplant? Yeah. It's golden brown. So now what do we do? We have to put it on that tissue so that it can drain out the oil. Yes, so the excess oil. We don't want too many oil. Okay? You see? Tyler, shall you see? Can you see? Yeah. How many paper towels is there? You can put any amount, but I have put two so that it doesn't, it absorbs the oil, excess oil. We don't need One for safety. Uh, kind of, you can think that way. It has to be this color, okay? It has to be not too dark or not too light. So it's kind of golden. As you can see, we have fried all the eggplant. Pour coconut milk into the heated pan. Let it heat for a minute. Now add the sliced onions. Now the tomatoes. onions and the uh, tomatoes when it's a little bit boiling kind of press the tomatoes just slightly okay but it has to be cooked a little bit to do it okay so slightly slightly press it like that now i'm going to use black pepper maybe like half a teaspoon okay black pepper salt to taste only so I'm using about half a teaspoon many fish you can taste it and if it's not enough you can add more this is unroasted curry powder unroasted curry powder that you have to use a kind of maybe two teaspoon okay yeah honey like turmeric just a little a pinch a pinch of it okay now when it's boiling Add the green chilies. You see how it turned the color? Yes. And last, you add the curry leaves. You kind of have to uh, make sure that the tomatoes get a little bit mushy. Okay. Keep on doing that so it gets mushy. Only the tomatoes? Only the tomatoes. You don't have to worry about the onions or anything, just the tomatoes. Do you get the good smell? 
smell it already? Yes. 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 Smells like noodles. It's so good. Right? And, and, and guess what? You guys all have to try. So I know. But then also you guys have to make it and show for the test that I'm going to test you guys. This is very easy. Very easy. You saw how it's been done. As long as you guys know to be careful with fire and the cutting, everything else is a piece of cake. It's very easy. You see how it's So what we learn on in this curry is that it, only the tomatoes and the coconut milk has to kind of get cooked. The egg, the green chili and the curry leaves and the onions, it doesn't have to be, you know, cooked uh, that much. But the, see, you see? How many chilies did we put in there? Three. Look. Can you see now? Yeah. Now we're going to, uh, now we're going to see, we're going to taste it and see if that's, so I'm going to give somebody to taste it if there's too much salt or less salt. We'll see, okay? Yeah, all of you can try, okay? Give me your, do like this. It's not going to be hot. Try it. What do you need? It's good. What do you need? It's good. What do you need? Great. I want more. A little <laughs> spicy. That's okay. We will gonna, and guess what? You're going to eat this with white rice. Okay. Okay. Now, now the last, the final step is we we simmer, kind of simmering, right? Then you switch off the stove. You switch off the stove, and then you add the eggplant to it. Now, see the eggplants are kind of dried, okay? Yeah. Because there's no oil. So what you do is you add it to this. Now there's no action, right? Okay. See. And then what you do is you don't stir it like that because you're going to break it. So what you do is you just Fold it like that. You see? Mix it. Mix it. Kind of like this. Like the bottom of the yeah. Not like that. You're or gonna not. like take the underside. Yes, yeah, very, it on top. very slowly. So so every, just gently slowly. just mix them. Yep. Just layer by see? layer. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you see that? That's it. That's it, yes. What the, is there a certain temperature you put it in? Uh, to cook or to when you're done? Like to cook. Uh, to cook, you, it depends. I, like I told you before, it depends on the stove that you guys are using. See, on this, we have we used till 450, so it's faster and it's really it cooked too. But if you're using on a normal stove or a hot plate, it may be a little less. Okay, so it depends on each one of your stoves. Okay. You see that? Wait, the level of the temperature just depends for like the speed of it, right? Yes. So it, it depends. If you want it, if you want your curry to be faster, then you do. But you do. All, all the while you have to make sure it's cooked. So you want to take it off. See, it's, now it's done. Um, is it okay? Like, do you have to mix it until everything is soaked into the eggplant? Like, there's no excess. Um, yes, milk? yeah, so that no, like this, so it, it's kind of simmered, it's like a kind of, not dry, but all, like, that's almost a like a dry, gravy. gravy, okay, wow. so that's how it comes, you don't put too much coconut milk, because then it's going to become soggy, you got it? Yeah. We, we made, made it! it! Yeah, we made it, and now we're Please like, share and comment. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates.